Good morning, everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Presenting before you this tutorial is your mental health treatment. So, to those of you that are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. You also hit the like button, and don't forget to share. So, we are doing red laws, order of reactions, and. To those of you that will have questions, this is my WhatsApp line. You can inbox me on that line and I'll be able to respond to you in my own time. And of course, I come with this wonderful question. So we are going to do quite a lot of questions on red laws. So I'm going to show you just how to solve uh, this particular question. So you have been given a table, then you have been asked to simply, we have been asked to find the red law and the overall order of reaction for this particular experiment. So how do we go about it? You have been given different concentrations for ammonium ions. You have also been given the concentration of nitrogen dioxide. Then you have been given the observed initial rate at the far end there. So from this information, we are able to calculate the order of reaction, overall order of reaction, as well as calculating the rate law. So let's get started. So the first thing that we do, we know that rate law, so let me say A, rate law is calculated by simply saying the concentration, the concentration of ammonium ion, like this, then multiplied by the concentration of nitrogen ions, like this, we're not forgetting constant K like that. Now, we don't know the order of reaction for this particular question. So now how do we go about it? So we're going to put X here, because we don't know. Then we're also going to put Y here, because we don't know. Then we can do our calculations. So first of all, find the order of reaction for ammonia ions. So from the, from the table, we have been given the first experiment and the second experiment and these concentrations. So we can use the first and the second and we also use the first and the second observed initial rate. So it's going to be like this. We will say observed initial rate 1, observed initial rate 2 is going to be divided by observed initial rate 1. Then we equate to, you use the molar the, the more concentration for reaction 2. Since here you've put rate 2, so you also put uh, molar reaction 2 here, like that, then over molar reaction 1, like that. These are concentrations. Then you put exponent x. Okay, from here, we know that um, observed initial rate 2 is simply 10.8 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 7. Then we say over 5 multiplied by 4, sorry, 5.4 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 7, then we say equal to, then of course this is going to be 0 0.02 over 0 0.01, like that, exponent x. So if you divide that, 10.8 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 7, then divide by, this is 
multiplied by 10 to the power negative 7 this is going to give me a 2 so I'm go I am found 2 here then equal to ok so 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.01 I'm going to find a 2 here to the power x so I know there is a 1 here this and this will cancel and my x is going to equal 1 like that so this simply means that this is a first order reaction okay this is the first order reaction so we, 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 we also find for why we see how it's going to be so now when you check from our data you discover that why during the reaction Y maintained its concentration 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.202. So you make sure that you skip where it's being maintained. You look for where it started to change. So it started to change at reaction 5 and at reaction 6 it totally changed. So we can use this and this for our calculation. So it's going to be... So it's going to be... Reaction order 6 over reaction uh, 5, you can use any equal to, then we say reaction, this is molar concentration 6, molar concentration 5, exponent y, like that. So we also, use, we also do the same, it's going to be 21 over 6 multiplied by 10 to the power 7 over 10.8 multiplied by 10 to the power 7 like that then of course here we are going to have 0. Point, okay 0. 0.04 like that over all over by this is going to be 0 0.0202 like that why so if I punch this on my calculator 21.6 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 7 divide by this is just 10.8 multiplied by 10 to the power to the power um, negative 7 the answer is simply a 2 so this is 2 but then check this is also 2 okay this is just 2 because I'm sure you understand this is just 2 anyway mathematically you are able to see so this is 2 also to the power y and of course this and that will cancel and our y is equal to 1 so you can use this formula for any questions under this topic under finding the red cross and it will give you the same answer so this is also a first order reaction okay so now to so it simply means that for the red law it's just going to be K ammonia ions at concentration the nitrogen dioxide. So there is a power one here you, and the power one here. So this is just the red law. Okay? So we we, we we don't show the ones, but you know that this is exponent one and exponent one. If we found the order or if, if the order of reaction was second here, we'd have put a two here. That's just how the red law is or about. Okay, so we get to BB saying we find the overall order of reaction. Overall order of reaction is simply the sum of all the reaction orders. 
Okay, so we say B say overall order of reaction overall order of reaction is equal to 1 plus 1 and that gives us 2 2 so that is the overall order of reaction for this particular question so it's a very simple question this is just how you solve uh, questions under this topic so make sure that you understand so that you'll be able to solve almost any question under this topic thank you so much